Good morning. This is the Power of a Prayer. Power of a Prayer asks every Thursday morning at 6.30 a.m. It's always said, get your coffee, get your biscuits, mother, father, get your children, and bring them around the set. We have something for everybody. Everybody, okay? So I'm going to pray while you're getting your coffee and your biscuits and while you're getting your children, bringing them around the set. My beloved, there's power in prayer. And God have something for everybody this morning, okay? Well, I'm going to pray. Father God, we come to you because it's right to come this morning. Come to you with a heart full of thanksgiving. I do thank you and I do praise you for another opportunity. Just to tell you thank you, sir, for being so good to us. You're good to us, holy God. I ain't even heard no bad news this morning. Watched over us all night long. And we know, Father God, there was demons designed to take us out. But, Father God, them two angels, good and mercy, brought us all away. And we want to just take time to tell you thank you, sir, because you don't have to do it. But by you being God and God all subside by yourself, you love. You're all about love and taking care of us. Father God, we just thank and pray you for every viewer that's watching me. They could be doing anything, but they chose, Father God, to stop to see what you're saying to me to say to them. And just for that, I ask you to bless each and every one of my viewers this morning, Father God. Even the ones that turned the TV on by accident. It was not no accident. Father God, bless them incoming and outgoing, but according to your will and your mercy. Let's do, this be one of the best days of their life. Because, Father God, there's power in prayer. And I just thank and pray you, Father God, for being able to sit here and bring your message, Father God. Tell your people what you're telling me to tell them. And, Father God, that is to be strong and courageous in times like this. And, Father God, if this show only had one person, it's well with it. And I just thank and pray you for using me in these dark, dangerous times. In Jesus' name I do pray, amen. And again, viewers, I say amen. Well, I hope you got your coffee. I hope you got your biscuits. Mother, father, if you got grown children in the back, wake them up and bring them to the forefront. And let them too hear what God is saying in these last and evil days. These are some petrous times. These are times they're calling good, evil, and evil good. And you want to know, my beloved, that you got it right with God. Because when it's all over, you can't run back in the house and say, wait a minute. Let me go back and get no. If I drive up to pick you up, you can say, wait a minute, uh, Sister Fountain, I need to go back. I left my keys. I left my purse. I, but this, uh-uh. When God said, call your name, you got to move. And all we need to know is we got it right. And if we got it right on this side, we know it's right on the other side. And we just thank you for looking in and seeing what God is saying to me to say to you today. Viewers, before I go any further, I want to thank you for all of your gifts all your cards, all your letters, all your phone calls, all your monetary gifts. You so good to me. And because I and I don't ask you. I don't ask for money on this show because God orchestrated this. And if he orchestrated it, he can fulfill it. But you got to be led by God. When you send me monetary gifts and donations and cards and little triggers, I know that you led by God. Because I don't ask for money on this show. And when you led by God, God said he'll take care of us. And every time I have just enough. And I know it's God. And viewers, I want to thank you for partnering up with me. Now, you don't have to do that. But you led by God. And I thank God for you. I continue to pray for you. I got your name as you write me and text me and call me. I put your name on the list and I pray over you. Each and every day and night of my life. I want God to truly bless you. Sometimes put your names and thank and lay on the pillow with your name and ask God to meet every need now according to his will and mercy and blessings. Now, you want God's will and, and perfect will in your life. You don't want what you want. What you want ain't always what God wants. But I just thank and praise you and thank and praise God for each and every one of you calling in, texting in, writing in. I thank God you'll never know on this side how much you mean to me. Well, all right. I have something for you. Get your Bibles and turn to the 23rd Psalms. Psalms 23, okay? And we're going to start there at Psalms 23. Okay. I want to talk to you, my beloved, about being strong. When you are strong with God, temptations is weak. I want to say that again. When you are strong in God, temptations are weak. 
But when you are weak in God, then temptation is strong. My beloved, you can't fight this battle by yourself. I'm sitting here, you looking at a little old lady that didn't know what she's talking about this morning. And it's no accident that you turned the TV on and watching me right now. Because every word that proceeded out of my mouth, it's straight from the throne room of grace. You can't walk this highway by yourself, my beloved. You're going to need the Lord. And as I said, get to that 23rd Psalms and rest right there. I'm coming. But my beloved, we's in a time now. I'm telling you, we's going through the, the whole world like it's going in the wrong direction. But we know that God is able. We know nothing can't happen unless he allows it to happen. And we just thank God for Jesus this morning. We thank him for Jesus. Be strong and be courageous. Just be strong. I know I don't call names on my show. I just don't do that. And some of you say, I can. you can call my name and you can tell my testimony. No. You come on here and tell your own testimony. I know my testimony. But I thank God for you. But my beloved, look at me. If you never hear nothing else I said and proceeded out of my mouth, you better be strong and courageous. You got to be a bold soldier now. Because I get calls, and I don't call names, like I said, I just don't do that, about these jobs, about how these, you being this, I, but you know, even they treat me so bad. My beloved, if you can't take it, you can't make it. And I'm not saying that being braggadocious, but I'm telling you, I mean, people hate me without a call. And I sometimes said, God, and then he said, just, you learn from that. That's going to take you to your next level. The way these bosses and the way these people treating you, they abusing their power. They want to make you, you say you're a child of God, they want to make sure. They want to squeeze everything out of you, everything that's not like God out of you. But what they don't know, anything, I don't have anything in me that's not like God that I know of. I know when they come into me with a Jack Johnson uppercut, I can't come back with a Muhammad Ali. But I got a father who knows it all. All I can say is Jesus in my spirit. Now, we can't go on these jobs and talk to Jesus. No, you have to just let the Lord do it his way. I know this person come up in my face just, I just spitting and talking and talking. And I just looked at her. I just looked at her and finally she calmed down. And folks all over with she laid her hand on my shoulder because she didn't get what she wanted. I'm not going to give you evil woman, evil man out there. I'm not going to give you what you want. What you want is me to fight back so you can say, I know she wasn't a Christian. I know my beloved, read my lips. They, these traps are set to take you to your next level. I don't care what they're doing on your job. If God make them fire you and get rid of you, he got something better for you. But what you got to do, my beloved, you got to let the Lord do it. You can't talk back and, mm, uh, uh, yeah, that don't say a word. And there's so many opportunities. You got to talk back and straighten them out. They be wrong 99% uh, of the time. 99 and a half percent of the time. But they just want to show you that they got power, so they think. But oh, one day, in the by and by, it's all going to come up again. My beloved, hold on and hold out. If you're just doing it for my sake. If you're a child of God, you got to take something. And it's only going to take you to your next level. Because I know I'm going through something. But I heard God. I was walking out of my den into my bedroom. And I heard God said, this is what's going to take you to your next level. And I'm geared up. Every time they come up in my face with something, it's always something I did. Always something. I, I know I just laugh. <laughs> Have a good day today. And they don't understand it. They confuse, they're trying to confuse you. But if you give them love and kindness, you confuse them. It, and never had nothing, never had no power and get a little opportunity. But I want to let them know it ain't the leaning tree that fall all the time. And who that's for? It ain't the leaning tree. My beloved, you better be careful how you treat people. You better be careful. Even if you ain't saved, you still got to be careful how you treat people. Because you don't know who God is. I was a little girl and I heard her saying that a lady had cleaned her house up real nice. And she said, God, I just want you to come by and visit with me today. And I'm just going to have my house all nice and all clean and all worked up. And she did all of that. And so late that evening, she said, God, I thought you was coming by. I had my house clean, dinner fixed. He said, I did come by. That old man that came by on the bicycle that asked you for a drink of water, you, you turned him away. That was me. You don't know how he coming, my beloved. He don't always come in a limousine. He don't always come in a Lincoln. You better watch it. We're living in a time now. 
that you got to know God for yourself. I mean, your preacher, your deacon, your man, you, but you better have a relationship with him for yourself. And you got to ask him to search your heart because you can't search your heart. You don't know what's in you. I don't know what's in me. I saw something in me one day. I, didn't, I wouldn't have had no idea it was in me. But why? Your heart is deceitful. It holds stuff. Your flesh ain't going to let you know. Your flesh walls against the spirit. You wheeze in a wall every day and every night of our life. We's in a wall. Come on, let's go to uh, Psalm 63 because I'm getting carried away right here. Because I'm kind of picking back and off my phone calls. And you know, my beloved, I don't call names. I just don't do that. I don't call names on this show. But I tell you, people are going through. Saints of God, Christians are going through. I mean, they they at a crossroad. They don't know whether to go right or left. But I tell you, you better pray as never before. I can pray for you, and you can pray for me, but can't nobody pray for me like I can. I can pray for me. And when I can't pray, I just go to groan, and with groan that cannot be uttered. Just groan. Yeah. My beloved, you better, you better. When mama said, when you can't say a word, just wave your hand. It's going to come a time you're going to get so choked up that you can't say a word. But my beloved, you can always wave your hands. He ain't no further than a hand clap. I know what I'm talking about. We in times now. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm talking to you because you need to know this, ma'am, sir. You need to know it ain't nothing you did. It ain't your fault. It ain't nothing. Don't beat yourself up. But hold on to God's unchanging hand. Just hold on. Endure that, that dog and out there doing to you. Endure it. He said, endure hardness as a good soldier. Yes, you have to. It makes you. It makes you strong. And when you get there, you will look back and say, oh, I'm glad I took that. But my beloved, every time you fail a test, you got to take it over. My beloved, I'm telling you, every time you fail a test, you got to take that test over. So why don't we just girl up and just grit our teeth and go on through in the name of Jesus for his glory, not for our glory, because he ain't going to let no man take his glory. And we'll just be pure, and I just pure God to make us pure. And somebody said, well, you can't be perfect. But my beloved, the Bible said, he, God said he's perfect. He said, follow me who is perfect. So now who lying? I don't know, and I ain't on here for that. I'm on here to tell you, you better follow perfection. Get close to it as you can. I, well, I know I am. Well, well, you may not be, but just follow after it. If you fall after and fall after and fall, it'll overtake you. My beloved, there's power in prayer. If you Give me a call. At, I don't get off the phone when I'm talking to somebody. I like to hear people's out. You like to hear somebody to hear you out. I don't just jump off the phone. A lot of times the phone be brr. I just, I tell them, leave me a message. Sometimes my list is longer than others, but I guarantee you I will call you back. And I will take my time and pray with you, talk with you, laugh with you, whatever you need that I'm able to do, I will do it. I'm telling you, my beloved, you got a friend. Glory Fountain is your friend. I always pick up the phone and call me. Sometimes you say, I'll be lonesome, and I'm telling you, I'll call on Jesus. I know we go through in this flesh. Now, when I'm talking to you, I'm talking to me, too, because I'm human, too. I'm humanistic, too. I go through, too. But I know that I know that I know I got a show I can lean on that's not going to give away. Wow, my, 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 my information coming on the stream. Give me a call. Pick up the phone and give me a call. 318-503-4225. There's my information on the stream, okay? You can always call me. I don't care what time of day or night it is, and I'm saying this because I mean it. You can always call me. That is 318-503-4225. Or email me, or text me, inbox me. Any way you want to get in touch with me, I'm here for you. My, 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 what a joy. The 63rd Psalm said, Oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh long for you and dry and thirsty the land where there is no water. My beloved, you got to have a hunger and a thirst for God as never before. As I always say, you have to go after man as a hungry hound going after me, ride him all the way. You got to hang on to him because I tell you, we're living in a time they call an evil good and good evil. Yeah, just go to that 23rd Psalm. That you don't have to get to the 23rd Psalm. Um, I was in number one. I'm down to number two. It says, so I have looked for you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory because your loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise you. My beloved, we got to praise him as never before. We got to go after him as a hound going after beef. We got to ride him all the way. 
My beloved, the Lord is good all the time, and all the time he good. And we got to, I don't care what time of night it is that you wake up, if you don't even get up, say a little prayer to the Lord. What's a little prayer or sing a little song to him? He's closer than you think. And all he wants us to do is make love to him and get intimate with him because we're going to need him. My beloved, we're going to need him in times like these. And look, let me stop in here and tell you this. Bills, the ones turn the TV on by accident, I don't care who you are, read my lips. Do not, please, I behoove you, I beg you, do not call me asking me nothing about no Trump or no shutdown. Don't ask me nothing about that because I'm just not going to give you no. All I can tell you is when they met President Donald Trump, they met their match. That's all I can tell you. And I do not get into politics. So please don't call me with that no more because I'm not going to get off on that. Now, you got prayer. You want to talk. We, we own it. We can do it. But all that is about to shut down, I'm not getting into that. That is not what this is about. This is the power of prayer, which means what? We pray. We pray, God knows, we pray for all this. We pray for the things we don't understand. And I know we don't understand all this, but just pray, okay? Okay. And so we're down to number three. I read one, two, Psalm 63. It says, so I have looked for you in the sanctuary to see your power and glory. I just read that, number three. Because your love and kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise you. I read that. Thus I will bless your hands. I said, thus I will bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. See, my name don't mean nothing. It's in his name. I will lift up my hand. My soul shall satisfy as with my, my soul shall be satisfied as with marrow in my bones. My beloved, this word will satisfy you. All you need to do is be full of it. Get full of God. Get full of the Holy Ghost. Get full of Jesus. Just get full of it. He will satisfy you with good things. He'll satisfy your mouth with good things, with perfect things, with good things. All we got to do, my beloved, is lean and depend on him. He's right there. We don't have to sometimes we call him and call in him. Sometimes he's right there. He's I'm already here. Just, just give me your request. Tell me. Make it known to me what you want. My beloved, a lot of times, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about me too. We act like God is way in New York somewhere. When he's right near, he said, I be near to those that call on me. See, he can't lie. The word cannot lie, my beloved. He said, I will be near to you. And he's near to us. All we got to do is call on him out of pure heart. And out of clap, he'll come to see about us. You're talking at a woman. Had not been for the grace of God on my side, I don't know why I'd be. It's only by the grace of God. It's the grace of God that brought me over the many dangers, seen and unseen. Oh, yes, it is. It's the grace of God. And I thank him for it. Okay. It said, it said, when I remember you on my bed, I meditated on you in the night watch. See, lay up on your bed and just meditate on him. Sometimes he'll just rock you and shake you and he'll shake you and rock you. And you just give out a little old groan. Ah, mm, I love the Lord. He heard my cry. And sometimes I get a little carried away, y'all, but don't know, but you don't know like I know. I was lower than low. He reached way down and picked me up. I was sinking in moral clay, and God reached and gave me a hand. And if, since he saved me, well, 40 years ago, I ain't had no mind to go back. Somebody said, well, I, I look back. I ain't had, you don't know where I come from. Maybe you didn't come from where I came from. Where I came from, I got no mind to look back. He brought me, as the song said, through a many danger, seen and unseen. He brought, I don't know how he did it, but he brought me. My beloved, look at and read my lips. Stay with God and be strong and courageous. He Just be strong. They already told Joshua, be strong and courageous. Just, I don't care how I look, and I know sometimes it get rough. The road do get rough, and the going do get tough, but we have to stay with it. My beloved, if we stay with him, he'll stay with us. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. Let's go down to number, uh, bah, 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 number seven. Because you have been my help, therefore, <clears throat> excuse me, because you have been my help, therefore, in the shadows of your wings, I will rejoice. 
remind me of the 91st Psalm. See, these Psalms all link up together, wrote by David. They links up together. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You got to get in that secret place, my beloved. Then you can abide in the shadows of the Almighty. How you get to hell, baby? You got to go through something like ain't going to never end. My beloved, you got to meet your name on the highway. You got to be called everything but a child of God. You calling with them little problems, though. they mistreat me now. No, sister and brother. All that's going to take you to your next level. I don't call names, but I won't let you know your boss is in trouble. If they, if they messing with you or if they dogging you out without a cause, they's in trouble. And there's no cause that they could have they could be dogging you out and walking on your manhood or your womanhood. My beloved, hang on to God. Just say a prayer in your spirit. If they say, don't cuss them, just say, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yes, sir. No, sir. Just talk to them. You don't have to talk to them like they're talking to you because, my beloved, they won't know who the devil. They want to bring the worst out of you. Don't let nobody on this side bring the worst out of you. And there shouldn't be no worst in you. But be careful. Guard your spirit. It's precious. You got to guard it, my beloved. Because there's people want to see, well, I know where to trick off. I know where to trip up. No, no, no. I've been through some trials and tribulations here in the last couple of weeks. And I tell you, I passed every one of them with an A+. Plus. I passed every one of them. And I looked it back at that devil and told him, la, 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 you didn't get me. And I, like I said a few days ago, I came up against something. That devil was huffing and puffing. That's a huffing and puffing. I put my hand on my hip and let my backbone slip. I told that booger, you can huff and puff all you want. You can't blow my house down. You blow the hood down, but I guarantee you most told you, you won't blow this one down. I, I'm on a solid foundation. I wasn't on no rock. I'm on a rock. He's the rock of ages. And my house built on the rock. You can't get this one, booger. Just go on down the highway and keep blowing. Because you won't blow this one down. When you come back, it'll still be standing. Even taller. I know what I'm talking about. But my beloved, you can't sleep all night. You got to burn that midnight oil. You got to get up and you got to walk the floors. Because that devil makes show. He'll make sure he said, Trey, if he don't come through you, my beloved, he'll come through your children. He'll come through your grandchildren. He knows how to get to us. He studies us. He got cohorts and little demons elected by the atmosphere. Sometimes you get up. If you ain't careful and you ain't prayed up, you'll get up angry. I don't know what happened to me last night, but I'm mad. I, you know, just get up with a chip on your shoulder. My beloved, something's wrong with that. My beloved, something is wrong with that problem. You can't get up with a chip on your shoulder. You can't get up just angry and mad. God brought you. you. He didn't even have to bring you through the night. He could have took you while you was in your sleep. But he brought you through the night, brought you over the dangerous highways and byways. All you got to do is throw your hands up and say, Now, Lord, I thank you, sir, for being so good to me. God is good to you. The idea of you looking at me, he's good to you. Come on, let's finish this 63 Psalms. But those who seek my life, didn't I just tell you? Those who seeking to make you angry and seeking to see if they can bring some devil out of you, all these traps that set for you. My beloved, if you stay with God, they'll slip and slide in their own vomit. Don't fight back. Don't, you don't have to fight back. Let God fight your battle. Lean on him. He said, if you lean and depend on me, I'll see you through. And I guarantee you most of you because I tried him for myself. And I find no shortcoming. Okay, Psalm 63 and number 9 says, But those who seek my life to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. <clears throat> they shall fall by the sword. They shall, be, they shall dig their own pits. And they shall fall in their potion. I don't care who set a trap for you. They're going to fall in it, my beloved. The Bible can't lie. They setting traps for us every day. They thinking about how they going to get us, how they going to bring us down, how they going to make fun of us. But my beloved, if you stay with God, he'll stay with you. If you don't hear nothing else this old woman said, I tell you, it's prayer time. It's power in prayer. All we got to do, well, I can't pray much. My beloved, you don't have to get on your knees and stop. If you're on them jobs, sometimes when you got a little break, you can say, Lord, have mercy. Lord, I thank you. Now, thank you for what? Thank you for everything. Thank you just for being able to say thank you. Some people got a mouth and can't even talk, got eyes and can't see, got flesh and can't even feel. Just thank him. Just thank him because he's worldly. I tell you, God is worldly this morning. I know what I'm talking about. He's worldly. He's waiting to hear our call and our cry. He is worldly. I know one time I'm going to tell you this little testimony. 
There's one time, though, to have these uh, conferences in Monroe. And this one time, this man was coming from California to this conference in Monroe. And he said he prayed about it, because you know you have to pray about God. Do I cannot go, because sometimes things ain't safe, you know. And said so God gave him the red light, I mean the green light to go ahead. That it was, everything was going to be all right. Well, this man worked at a plant. And he said, he told, uh, got a friend to work in his place while he come to Louisiana from California to the women, to the conference, church conference. Well, he had packed up his suitcase and he told his wife, I'm going to go until my friend come. When he come, then I'll be home and we have enough time to get to the airport. Well, his boss came around and said, hey, your friend hadn't come, so you can't go. He said, well, I'm pretty sure. He said, but he hadn't gotten here. And I know it's getting on time for you to go, so you can't go. He said, wait a minute, I know God told me I could go. And my friend haven't come, what's going on? So he went to the phone and said, well, if I can't go, I can't go. I'm not going to worry about it, but I know I heard from God. You got to know that you know that you know God's voice. He knew he heard from God. He went to the phone to pick the phone up. They called to tell his wife, baby, ain't nobody to work in my place. I can't go. But instead, when he picked the phone up, he said, baby, head for the door. Head for the door. And the boss said, hey, 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 you can go. He done made it. My beloved, if God said it, that sells it. God said it, I believe, if you believe it or not. If God said it, that sells it. That man knew that he heard from God. And that brother stood on that. Even when things looked like they was crumbling. He said, but I know well, nevertheless. But when he picked up that phone, he had so much power in him and anointing in him that he still spoke and said, head for the door. My, 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 my. When he got here and told that testimony, the church caught on fire. We were running like cows on a pastor because everybody got another charge from that. Sometimes, my beloved, we need to be encouraged. We need to hear a testimony. Sometimes we have to, we need to hear what God is doing for somebody else. Still a hating on them. We need to open the door so they can tell us about the goodness of God. My, 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 God is good all the time, my beloved, and all the time he good. And I could sit here and tell you testimony after testimony and talk to you and read your scripture, but my beloved, you got to open up your own heart. You got to ask God for power. You need power and you need the anointing to get through here. What is the anointing? It breaks and destroys every yoke. It moves you from one level to another one. And my beloved, you can't fake it. It stands for itself. The anointing speaks for itself, and there's nothing like it. It can't be imitated. How do you get it? My beloved, you got to go through in order to come out. Well, my, I'm just getting wind up, but my time is just about out. There's power in prayer. My beloved, there's dunamis power in prayer. All you got to do is talk to God like I'm talking to you, and he's close to you. And I'm going to have to leave you. But I'm going to leave you in the hands of the Lord. Until we meet again on this side, I'm going to have to say goodbye.